So the Nets starting five. DeAndre Jordan is out there with Durant. Then there's Irving. Then it's Harden. And it's Harris in at the three. The small forward. And for the Celtics. Walker and Smart, the guards. Jason Tatum is out there with Williams. And it's Fournier in at the three. We'll most likely see some stout defense. Chris, both these teams are terrific at limiting points. Yeah, Kevin, these teams do all the little things on defense well. Great at helping over and contesting shots. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. Harden out there with Kyrie Irving. And it's Durant. Then it's Joe Harris. And it's Jordan in at the five, roaming the paint. Harden, that's good. The hard strength is part of what makes him special. Able to score through all kinds of contact. Walker against Harden. And the rejection by Harden. Durant, the pass to Harden. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up. Harden's got his second basket of the night. No, the bearded one cannot be intimidated. No matter how much contact Harden takes, he'll still find a way to fit. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Harden outside. Durant with the dunk. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Now, here's Walker. And the rejection by Harden. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. You too. the Nets with possession here. And so it's Durant with it. He'll bring it up for the Nets. Three-point lead. Down low. And Harden with the basket on the assist by Irving. Harden's got six points. Celtics have gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Walker looking for an opening. Tatum wide open. He fires one. Off target from outside. Now, you don't see that very often. A wide open three is usually like a layup for him. Harris passes to Jordan, and DeAndre Jordan throws it down. And that's a big reason why Jordan's field goal percentage is always so high, because most of his finishes come right at the rim. Now, here's Smart. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. That's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. And he knows it, too. He tried to get away with it. Sometimes you do. That time he did. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. And it's Brown in for Harris. Here is Harden. He's got six. Here's KD. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Six points for him. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Tatum kicks to Fournier. And here's Thompson inside. Here's Tatum. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Now, Tatum is lanky. I mean, long. I mean, you think you got him defended. He, he ends up getting to the foul line. Jimmy Ogilvy's checked in for Boston. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Brooklyn. And that one falls for Tatum. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And uh, from Brooklyn guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? I mean, offensively, I thought they did a good job of protecting the ball. And defensively, boy, were they disrupted. Great balance of efficiency and intensity, which is why they hold the early lead. They've got Jabari Parker. Kemba Walker is out there with Ojale. And it's Cornette in at the center, filling out the middle. That's the Boston Five. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Since the Nets acquired Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, the 
franchise has gone from being an up-and-comer to a potential powerhouse in the East. That's necessitated changes on the bench and on the court. Nets have added some new veterans. The time is now for Brooklyn to stand up and make its move in the East. Kevin, back to you. Now we'll see how they do. David, thank you. Brown, good. Well, he's not going to get an easier look than that. You don't need to double team him, but you can't leave him all alone. And drafted 42nd back in 2018 out of Miami. Bruce Brown has shown himself to be a rugged two-way guard. Yeah, he's a second round steal. Yeah, he competes at the defensive end of the floor, and the shooting numbers are trending in the right Sorry. direction. Timeout called the Nets. Totally different roles, but Portland's always going to have a, a sweet spot in my heart. My first child was born in the great city of Portland. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Griffin. Harris comes in for Kevin Durant. And Kyrie Irving subbed in for James Harden. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Walker. And he banks in the layup. Walker's got nine points now in the quarter. You love how Walker just attacks the opening, feasting on any lane that D gives him. Walker against Irving. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. All right, it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses. That doesn't constitute defense. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. Outside Williams. Carries it down low. Williams has got his second basket of the night. Showing that aggressive nature. Williams competes hard, doesn't back down, and he'll let his opponent know he's not afraid of the contact. No good from Jordan. He struggles with his finishes sometimes. I mean, it's kept him from being an elite player. Fournier against Harris. Pass to Cornette. For three, Fournier. The shot, no good. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Irving passes to Jordan. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. And, Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player put an opponent in harm's way. As much as you just saw him do there, glad they pinned a, a flagrant on him. Yeah, you're right, Greg. The officials were all over it. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. And he can't get the first one. And this spot has always been Jordan's biggest drawback. Uh, he's never been able to make his free throws at, at even a modest rate. And teams are never afraid to put him on the line. And some changes here for the Celtics. Thompson comes in for Luke Cornett. And it's Jason Tatum in for Walker. And the Nets making a change here as well. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Green. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Now, here's Tatum. He has six. Fournier, that's for two. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Fournier's got five now. Brooklyn leading by five. To the inside. Jordan. And it's Jordan with the jam. Well, here's the thing. Urban draws so much attention from the defense. I mean, there's always a guy left wide open. Smart deciding where to go with it. Pass to Tatum. Back to Smart. Left side, Tatum. 
And it goes down two points. Wow, nice touch on the mid-range there. Tatum's a player who scores everywhere on the court. Brooklyn's gone three or four from long range in the game. Brown against Fournier. Missile blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. He gets it to him off the bounce pass. He gets the assist. The Nets making a switch here. Harden's checked in. The Nets shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. And as a group, they shot 75% from the line last season. Now the learning curve for point guards in the NBA can be pretty steep. But Irving is a quick study. It didn't take them long to become an elite player. That is good. And the Nets' lead is cut down now to just five on the bucket from Tatum. And it's Irving with the ball for Brooklyn. And not only is Smart one of the best defenders in the league, Greg, he's also one of the most versatile players in the NBA. Yeah, when you talk about players who can guard one through five, it's usually referring to Kawhi, PG-13, or Giannis. But Smart at 6'4 has the strength, the anticipation, and the toughness to hold his own against anyone. It's remarkable. And the Nets making a change here. Griffin's checked in. And it's clear that the Beard is a special player, a clutch performer. He loves to play the game of basketball. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Harden surveying the D. He kicks to Irving. Just five to shoot. Trains it from 17 feet out. Irving's got eight points. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Outside Tatum. 41 seconds left in the second quarter. Wow. I, I am more impressed by Tatum every time I watch. That's some veterans. Harden the pass to Griffin. for the basket starting off one for one with that shot and that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams Fournier finds Tatum jacks up a three it's hauled in by Claxton Nets leading by seven Harden outside Great D that time from Tatum. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. Brooklyn ahead. They lead by seven. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. An exceptional performance so far from James Harden. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And, and as they can't slow him down, you know what you do? Keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. This is the right game plan. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Celtics trail by seven. So for Brooklyn now, we've got Irving. Duran is out there with Jordan. Then it's Harden, and it's Harris in at the three slot. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on DeAndre Jordan. A, a serious talent when Robert Williams is healthy. He makes his presence felt. Has great length and lift off the floor. Defensively, he protects the rim and even blocks shots out on the perimeter. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And then offensively, Williams is mostly a rim runner at this point. But, Greg, there are signs that the jumper is coming along. Yeah, you know, when he was drafted at the end of the first round, there was a lot of talk about rebuilding his shot mechanics. And that's still a work in progress. But where he's really impressed people is with his passing. He has terrific instincts for the game. Pass to Tatum. A three. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got three assists now in this one. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Harden the pass to Durant. And the Nets, another three. 
lethal three-point shooter Duran is especially dangerous when he's looking to get revenge. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sidelines. Hey, guys, if you can believe it, before Jalen Brown went to the draft, one executive said the Cal Berkeley star was too smart. Brown says when athletes are also informative, it can intimidate. We get pushback for our outside interests. The whole shut up and dribble movement is big, and I'm a part of that movement. Guys? Strong story, DA, there. Thanks. Fournier dishes to Walker. They double team Walker. Outside Fournier. The rejection by Jordan. And really, that's the brilliance of Jordan. Just denying those shots there with tremendous power. Harris kicks to Irving. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three point play chance as he'll head to the line. How's that for a start? Good on all three attempts so far in the second half. And the Celtics making a change here. Ojale is checked in. Bruce Brown, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Brown feeling out a bit. Pass to Harden. And Harden with the stuff. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. From deep, Walker. No oh, good that time. The Nets go the other way with it. They've held a 12-point lead early. Brown. Good work defensively by Smart. Celtics trail by eight. Got a piece of it. And the officials into the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Jaws under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Outside, KD. And KD throws it down. On the loose, Durant's been spectacular tonight, showing off the full arsenal. And Walker's got the ball here for the Boston Celtics, trailing by 10. And the league's preeminent practitioner of the step back three, James Harden is as good as it gets. And you know, like the sky hook, an unguardable shot. And paired with his dribble drive, a two-move torture chamber. Passes it to KD. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got assist number seven for him tonight. There's 154 left to play here in the third. And thanks to that step back, Harden already the all-time leader in unassisted three-point shots. And not to mention four-point plays. And up until recently, teams built elaborate offenses to create their three-point looks. Harden the first to do it one-on-one -on -one with volume and efficiency. Round the pass to Durant. Look, that's what's crazy about this guy. Inside, deep from three. Still, he's deadly from mid-range. Durant is as good as anyone in that part of the court. Walker against Harden. Shoots. And off the left side of the rim. And it swirls in for him. Walker's got 16 points. And the shooting has really been there for him today. And it's presented, as always, by State Farm. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Yeah, he put it on the platter, and it was served cold. Now, I love the poise, the decisiveness. This is how you run an offense. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Brooklyn leading by 13. Parker out there with Tatum. And there's Kemba Walker. Then it's Williams. And it's Fournier in at the shooting guard. That's the Boston Five. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Walker finds Williams. Knocked loose. Harden with it. He's picked up by Walker. And there's the pass to KD. 
outside Irving. Pass to Durant. Shoots over Walker. No good from Durant. Celtics trail by 16. Here's Fournier. It's hauled in by Claxton. And so it's Katie with it. He brings up the ball for the Nets. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. Irving's shot is good. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Outside Fournier. And here's Tatum for three. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. But when he's hitting from range on a consistent basis, it makes everything easier offensively. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Oh, yeah, and that's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with the comfortable move. Shot's good by Walker. Love how Walker is constantly looking for a shot. When the D gives him any daylight, he drains the bucket. Timeout called the Nets. He went to present the New Balance player of the game, James Harden. Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. Well, to come in here facing a hostile crowd and have a game like he's had, that's what separates the good players from the great players. Finds Walker. Smart with the ball. And it's Harden picking him up. And the pass to Irving. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Irving's got 19 points. Love how strong Irving finished. Awesome at fighting through the defense and sinking these shots. Here's Tatum. Some solid defense there from KD. Nets leading by 17. Irving surveying the floor. And that's going to be a treble. Now Walker. Williams kicks to Walker. The three from Tatum. Sinks the three-pointer. Tatum's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for Boston. A nice job setting up for that shot. Everything working together for Tatum. Pass to Harden. Plays it up and banks it in. Harden's got 10 points here in the second half. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? Uh, exactly. Give it to the guy with the hot hand as long as you can. Let him try to close this out. Outside, smart. Here's Tatum. From deep. The offensive rebound. And another shot. Smart kicks to Walker. For three, Fournier hits the three-point bomb. Wow, wonderful court awareness that time. You can count on Walker to find the open man. Nets leading by 13. Outside Irving. Pass to Harden. From downtown. And he's good on the three ball. Harden's got five points now this quarter. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for Brooklyn. Their inside game was what secured them the win tonight. They had their way in the paint. And those are all high percentage shots. But the defense couldn't stop them from getting down low. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for James Harden. His vision and his ball movement impressed me the most. A tremendous night for him passing the basketball. Here's Harden. Got it. Good job in the low post. Yes, and that's 31 points for James Harden. 
saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. That's the dagger. You could tell they wanted that one. I know that seals the deal. They double team Walker back to Fournier. And again, Boston with the triple. Oh, that's just a terrific night for him from the floor, making almost everything he looks at. And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. They led by as many as 18 points. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, anytime you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you very much, Blake. Another good night of work offensively. How does the team build on this? Uh, just keep that rhythm. You know, we're not always going to hit shots every night. Some nights the shots aren't going to fall. So just keeping that rhythm, keeping the ball moving, talking on defense and uh, relying on each other. Congrats on a great win, Blake. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long.